simple addition, except we're doing it under acidic conditions this time instead of basic. So what will happen first is this oxygen is going to take this hydrogen from the hydronium, and that'll push these electrons back. And what we'll get is this, and this will put a positive formal charge on the oxygen since we have three bonds, which will also form water as a byproduct. And that's important because now we have this alpha hydrogen here, and we can abstract the alpha hydrogen, which will form a double bond, pushing these electrons, the pi electrons back up, and we'll make this. Well, now we have an enol, not an enolate since there's no negative charge on the oxygen. It's an enol since we have hydrogen, sorry, since we have a hydroxy group. And assuming we have another aldehyde, which we do, we can attack this. But before we attack, we have to protonate this oxygen right here. And we can do so with another hydronium. And the reason you have to protonate it is because since we have a since enol is a much uh, weaker nucleophile than enolate, we have to make uh, this carbon right here more electrophilic. So it's more of a weaker target, making our nucleophile appear stronger than it actually is. So that's why you have to protonate the second aldehyde. And now that it's protonated, we can do this in a single step using the double bond electrons and we can make our structure. So we have four electrons. Um, you also have to push this down. Push that back up. And you get this. And it's the same as before. You get four uh, carbons, and then you put the hydrogen at the end. And we're almost done. We want a neutral atom now with the positive charge. So we're going to use water, our solvent. We're assuming it's our solvent. It usually will be to abstract this hydrogen, which will push the electrons back. And this, in turn, will make this, which is the exact same product as we got in the last video.